Hey everybody, it's me Marty and welcome back to the Diamonds and Denim YouTube channel and welcome to All New October. This edition is going to be special. It is going to be called Spa Night because I have all of these masks that I haven't tried out yet. You see I'm clean face right now. I have on my robe, hair is wet, fresh out the shower and fuzzy slippers because why not? So I think it's important for every young lady, woman, all, all of the above, to make sure that we take care of our skin, especially like for me, I'm getting a little bit older now, so it's important. Um, so, okay, so I have three different Akira masks that I wanna try. Magic Wonder Puff, which is Argon and Gardenia Extract. It's an overnight mask, which I was supposed to do last night, but I was just, I was in a lot of pain last night, so I didn't wind up working on that, but I'll do it next time. I also have the Brightening Vegetable Peel, which is the one I'm gonna do today, and then the Purifying Fruit Mask. I'm not sure about the original cost of these. I'm gonna look them up and I'll just put them at the bottom. Actually, I'll look it up and get back to y'all before the end of the uh, vlog. But I got this one at TJ Maxx. It was regular price at TJ Maxx, $11.99. Their compare at price was, or the compare at price is usually lower than it actually is. So their compare at price was $16. The um, regular TJ Maxx price was $11.99 and I got it on sale for $5. So I got all of these because I love Acure. I know um, it's usually a pretty pricey brand. I know a lot of people like it. I know it's really good for the skin, so I really wanted to try them out. And since they had three of them, I decided to get all three because your skin has different problems from time to time. So again, today we're gonna do the Brightening Vegetable Peel. It's made with chlorella and kale. We all know kale. It's for normal to dry skin. It's vegan. It says the directions on it, uh, I mean, the little warning just says it avoid it says avoid contact with eyes if any adverse reaction develops stop use and consult con contact your physician now who's just gonna stand there and let their face swell up and not do anything about it that's insane this gentle peel is like a green smoothie for your skin with sugar cane and apple cider for non-abrasive exfoliation and kale spinach and chlorella i don't know what chlorella is i have to look it up to provide a vitamin dense hydration boost get glowing Apply thin layer to face and neck for five to 10 minutes, five to eight minutes, hmm. one to two times per week. Rinse with warm water to remove. So I need to leave it for eight minutes. I'm gonna leave it for eight minutes. If I start to feel a tingle, I'll take it off earlier, but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna have that problem. I don't usually have bad reactions to like beauty products. So let's take it out. You know, Cure, you know the brand is vegan. It's very earth friendly. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's pretty, I mean, it's just, you know, it's not a makeup product, it's just a cure. It looks very spot-like though. Okay, this is little tube itself. Again, features, again, apply a thin layer to a clean face, neck and chest. I'm just gonna do my face today because I don't wanna, you know, mess with all that. So let's see what's, what it's like. I wanna smell it because the Magic Puff that I haven't used yet, but I keep like messing with, oh, it's not, okay, it's got a little peel, that's good. Sometimes CJ Maxx, they don't have the little safety things on it like this, so I'm excited about that. But anyway, um. The Magic Puff smells so freaking good. Like, it smelled up all my clothes I had in the bag and everything. It was awesome, and I was very excited about it. So this one, I'm excited to see what it smells like. So again, this is the Acure for your skin for the planet Brightening Vegetable Peel. This is the first part in our all-new October Spa Night edition. It doesn't smell like anything right now. Let me take it out the tube, see what it, oh, let's see. It didn't say to do a moist neck or like a clean or a wet face or anything. It just said to put on a, a clean face it smells kind of weird it looks like seaweed but when it has kale and it's supposed to be all natural i figured it was gonna look like that so this is the product itself it says to rub a thin layer onto clean face on a clean face neck and chest for five to six minutes use one to two times per week okay so it's not a long mask like there's some that's like 20 minutes 30 minutes an hour Ooh, oh my gosh y'all feel so hydrating like i mean it says like a, oh, like a green tea smoothie for your face. I totally feel that. Like it's so soft. It feels like a moisturizer. Oh, and excuse my lip too though. Dose of Colors, uh, Kiss of Fire last night stained my lips. So don't be concerned with that. It's not blood or anything. It's just a really pigmented matte lipstick. Okay. This is like insane. The amount of like hydration my face is getting right now. It feels really good though. I like it a lot. It's supposed to be brightening though. Hydration is not its main thing. It's supposed to be brightening and usually when something's brightening it's usually a little acidic it usually has a lot of exfoliants in it i had there's like a little tiny bit of exfoliator in it but it's not a lot not enough to really 
agitate my skin, which to brighten it, sometimes, a lot of times, those acids do aggravate my skin. This is just like a bath. Like, it just feels so good. It feels like a mud wrap for the face. So good. I like it a lot already. Okay. So, I have about eight minutes to kill. So, I'm going to go um, uh, brush my teeth and, like, do my hair. Like, put it in a shower cap and everything because this conditioner is driving me kind of crazy. And I'll be right back to let y'all know the results. So, I'm going to cut this off and I'll check back in eight minutes. Okay. So, the eight minutes is up. My face is, like, it almost dry to like a jelly thing but it's still wet so it's like a mask but not it's not super hard it just tightened up like I feel my face like feeling super tight right now so I'm gonna go and rinse it off also before I go and rinse it off um I uh said I was gonna look up the price of it I found it on Amazon for $16 so it's $16 on Amazon I got it for five at TJ Maxx so I'm gonna go and rinse it off I'll be right back and I'll decide if I'm giving this particular one um a diamond or not okay so i have now washed off my cure brightening vegetable peel my face is a little bit red but i mean any peel that you do it should be red because if not then it didn't really do its job but anyway um there was no tingling no discomfort no itching i, I don't even have any tightness anymore now that i rinsed it off so um i don't know instantly if it's brightening or not it smells good. It made my face feel really, really soft. So um, I'm going to give the Brightening Vegetable Peel by A Cure a diamond. Um, like I said, vegetable peels a lot of times and exfoliators will like dry your skin out or make it scratchy or make it tingle a little bit or make it burn a little bit. And this did nothing of that of the kind. It, like I said, it smelled really good for a vegetable peel. I don't know if it did its job as a peel, but it was so hydrating. Like my skin, I can't Y'all know I do this every time I have a mask. I can't stop touching my face because it's like so moisturizing. So that is the brightening vegetable peel. It gets a diamond from a cure. Um, and the next mask next week will probably be the Magic Puff. But um, I'm not sure. It just depends. So on to the next mask. Test out another mask for you tonight. So tonight is the one that I actually had been wanting to try from a cure. Same one as last time. I think last time we did the brightening vegetable peel. Tonight, we are doing the wonderful, the magical Wonder Fluff. So, it looks like the price of it is the same as the other one, like $22 on Amazon. But the regular TJ, My TJ, Mice. TJ Maxx price was $7.99, and I got it for $4. So, just like the other one, it's like the same little set. Like, there were a bunch of different kinds. Anyway, so, this one is cool because you put it on overnight. And y'all know how I feel about overnight masks. So... The Wonder Fluff. Let's read what it says. You want you want la. You want some serious wrinkle finding? You got it. This amazing mixture will not only increase wonder, but also fluff with targeted argon extract gardenia oil. Color chlorella. I don't know what chlorella is. And <laughs> argon oil. This is a game changer, people. P.S. Yes, we said wrinkle fighting. Wrinkles are the magical elves who sneak in at night and and try to steal your pretty. I love their sense of humor, this bad, this uh, product. Apply a thin layer to neck and chest, to face, neck, and chest after cleansing and toning. Maybe use as an over, may be used over a nighttime cream to boost benefits or whatever. I don't want to be bossy. <laughs> so let's try the magical wonder fluff. First, I have to wash my face. I'm going to wash my face real quick. <sighs> okay, so anyway, something weird just happened, but I'm not going to get into that. I bought this Yes To mask applicator the other day at Ulta. I'm sure it was on sale. I can't remember how much, but I've been looking for one of these forever because I hate applying um, masks with my fingertips because, first of all, it dirties your nails like crazy. Sometimes, especially when you have, like, the um, Peter Thomas Roth um, Irish Moore mask, it's black, so it stains everything and gets under your nails, and it's annoying. And it just does a better uniform... Oh, I hope I do it. So yes to those people, they do yes to carrots, they do yes to onions, yes to booties, yes to all kind of crap. So this one is a um, like rubber applicator. This one, and I just want to show you what the difference is. This one is a old foundation, not an old foundation brush, actually a new foundation brush. I just didn't need it, but it came with a set. So I started using that to apply uh, mask too. So I'm going to keep both of these. I don't know exactly what, like, I don't know what the difference would be in using them, but I'm just going to keep them both just, you know, why not? But I want to try this one with the Wonder Fluff because I never used it before, so I'm going to use it tonight. All right, let's see Magical Wonder Fluff. Should it be wet? I don't think it should. 
Probably then later after cleansing and tone, maybe use it overnight. Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to be bossy. Okay, cool. So let's see. I know it's going to smell freaking good. I smell it through the box. Again, it was $4 on clearance at TJ Maxx. The TJ Maxx price was $7.99. And the actual price was... Their compared price is usually wrong. I'm pretty sure it was like $22. Bucks, but their compared price is $11. But I'm pretty sure on Amazon it was uh, 22 to 25 bucks the magical wonder fluff all right this is a little container just like it looks just like the vegetable peel it's like the vegetable peel sister i like the containers of these two because one you can stand them up like i could stand it up in my little spot drawer they'll be able to stand up next to each other and i really like that just one of those things that i like when people put a little extra time towards things like don't just you know i'm paying money for it not the full price money but i'm paying money for it and again, unfortunately, I did get this at TJ Maxx, so I can't offer you, um, you know, I'll put a link up here, but it's not probably not going to be this price, only because TJ Maxx is one of those places, the off-retail places, that you don't ever know what you're going to get when you get there. So you just got to get there and do the legwork. Like, there's no guarantee that this will even be at the TJ Maxx I bought it at next week. And I know this how. I'm, I was a Maxinista. I worked there for three years, and I shopped there before then and still shop there now, so. Which my ex-manager does not like, but whatever. So, let's see, the Overnight Hydrating Booster Mask. Argon and Gardenia Stem Cell. Mm, it smells so good, which I don't understand how they can have stem cells because, I mean, people can't have it to fix their backs, but they can have it for a facial. I don't understand that, but what do I know? Ooh, okay, so this is the consistency. It looks almost like a moisturizer, like a lotion. So, I'm just gonna, oh my God, already I love this freaking applicator. It's amazing. It's so easy to slide stuff on. Oh. I live for this. It's awesome. So I like this. I love the applicator. I love the mask itself too, though, because it's really, really soft. It feels more like a moisturizer than a mask. But I believe it does call itself, yeah, an overnight hydrating booster mask. It doesn't have, like to say it's supposed to like be p puffing you up. It doesn't have like a super, you know, y you know how they like start stinging you and stuff? Like, of course, it's going to make my skin puff because it's swelling the crap out of me. It doesn't have that on here. It's a very soft, hydrating vibe. I'm just gonna make sure I have all of it off of the little spatula thing. I'm looking in the mirror. I have the mirror right behind, right behind me, y'all. I mean, there's another mirror behind me. It's the bathroom. How many mirrors do I need? But I have a mirror on the side, so I'm just looking to make sure I got everything. Okay, so I am done. I will catch y'all in the morning to let y'all know the results. Okay. Whew. Good morning, everybody. So it is morning, if you can't tell by my voice, I'm dog tired, but I wanted to make sure we talk about this mask. So the, the Akira, the Magical Wonder Fluff mask, I used it last night. And remember last night, it was all white, like the majority of it soaked into my skin. Um, but just this little spot right here didn't soak in, which means maybe I put too much right there, I'm not sure. But So that's what it looks like now. I haven't washed my face or anything yet, I'm about to. Okay guys, so um, I've rinsed it off now. And I must say after rinsing it off, you can see some of the spots on my face are a little bit red. Like right here, it's a little bit red. And there's some other spots where it's like a different, like it's, you could tell it had something happen to it. <laughs> but the feeling is really, really good. My face is like super duper soft. It feels like super hydrated. It does feel a little plumped. Like I said, the way with the migraines this week, I, I had these big circles under my eyes and they're not really there anymore. So I really like the Magical Wonder Fluff Mask. I'll be using it, I think, anytime I have a super dry skin moment and the weather's changing right now, so I feel like that's gonna happen a lot. I'm gonna use this overnight. It's really, really good. The only complaint I have about it is the same one I had about the um, Propolis Mask, the honey mask I did. When you're sleeping, like I sleep on my side, I toss and turn all night, I got a lot of the mask on my hand and on my pillowcase. So that I did not like. But aside from that, the results, I mean, Results are pretty good, pretty good. So that's it for the magical wonder fluff and catch me next time. Uh, next time I see you guys, we'll be going over the fruit peel, which is the last one left, so. So I am here to do our last, I'm really tired and I kind of didn't want to do a mask today, but uh, we had fall break. So I was out of work for two days yesterday and today. And so every time I have a little break like that, I try to, you know, do some kind of spa night before I go back to work just to relax me and give me that right frame of mind. This is the purifying fruit peel. Now, remember, all three of these masks cost the same. 
Um, I got them all on sale at TJ Maxx for $5. They all retail between $22 and $25. I can't remember what I said for the first one. But this is the Akira Purifying Fruit Pills. So this is the last one for me to kind of discuss with the other two. So this is the final one. This is the wrap-up. Active Fruit Enzyme Purifying Fruit Pill. Gourmage Purifying Fruits. That's in French. For those of y'all who don't know, yes, I do know some French. I'm from Louisiana after all. It says apply thin layer to clean face and neck and chest for five to eight minutes one to two times per week rinse with warm water to remove three to five minute tops no for more sensitive skin types so they want us to it seems like it must be pretty strong for them to do that for them to say you know it's got to be um don't go longer than five minutes if your skin is sensitive and for sure don't go more than eight minutes so i'm going to set mine for eight minutes because i don't have particularly sensitive skin to my knowledge so i did just remove all of my makeup a little while ago because um i knew i was going to do this I, I do still have some on just because my primer and everything just kind of, um, you know, made everything stick like super long. And then this lipstick is Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's like a purple cranberry shade. So, you know, Anastasia is usually not going anywhere. So I'm going to wash my face real quick. It's got the little protective covering, which is good. I hate when that's not there. Like, I feel like I'm just rubbing like, I don't know, some kind of disease on my face. So now that's not to say if the deal isn't right that I'm not going to still <laughs> use it. I mean, I know I shouldn't say that, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's up to you if you choose to do it or not. This one doesn't smell as good as the other two, but uh, let's see. I'm gonna check the texture first before I decide what brush I'm using. Okay, it's like a gel. Ooh, it's like a gel. Ooh, okay. It feels like honey, like the texture of honey. That's what it feels like. I'm gonna use this um, silicone paddle for it since it's, uh, since it's, you know, since it's sticky like that. It was like a clay or something. If it was like a clay, then I'd use the other one. But since it's not, since it's like a gel, I'm gonna use this one. I don't want to get stuck. So just gonna apply it with this paddle from somebody I don't know who. Oh, okay. Yes to carrots. Yes to whatever. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. It's kind of sticky. Which is why it's a good thing we use the silicone one today, because you know, a peel is usually uh, putting on my chin while I'm trying to talk. That's smart. Um, a peel is usually a little stronger than regular mask. It's meant to like resurface your skin, make it like real clean and healthy the reason it's called a peel is like you can um it, it used to be because you could peel it off but now very few peels are actually peel off masks um it's called a peel because it's supposed to peel off your dead skin cells from you know it's supposed to like really remove your dead skin and give you a nice pretty fresh glow but again i do feel it tingling so this one in particular i wouldn't if you do have sensitive skin or skin that reacts to a lot of things i don't think i tried this one in particular and that's probably because the fruit enzymes they have in it. And while I'm letting it sit, I'm going to kind of uh, look at the ingredients of it too. Because it says active fruit enzymes, which doesn't automatically mean fruit right off the bat sometimes. It just kind of depends on what the product is. So, all right. Okay, so it's applied. I'm going to, it's my timer just hit three minutes. So, I'll watch it and then I'll just deduct that from the eight minutes. So it says for external use only. It doesn't say anything about the ingredients on this thing. Let me check the box that I just put in the freaking trash because I'll have to take it out. Yeah, um, all right, let's see here. It says water, glycerin, willow bark, bitter cherry, mango, raspberry fruit extract. Okay, so there is a lot of fruit in here. Witch hazel, pomegranate, blue agave, apple cider vinegar, ooh, bilberry, orange, sugar cane, sugar maple, orange, lemon, mango seed. Okay, so a cranberry. I really like when there's natural ingredients like that because I figure, you know, if it's a natural ingredient, it couldn't got messed up that much with, uh, we couldn't have stuck our hand in it that much as humans to really mess it up. Um, so I like when there's natural ingredients like that. So I'm pretty excited about that. It says for external use only, if any adverse reaction develops, stop using contact your physician. They always put that on there. Like who's going to let their face just swell up and not do anything about it? I would assume people contact their physicians i would assume but you know who am i to judge um it says vegan sulfate free paraben free cool, cruelty free good for six months so we're about to hit the five minute mark so i'm gonna set my timer for three more minutes and i'll come back to y'all let y'all know what's up okay all right people so i have been letting this sit on my face for eight minutes so i'm going to rinse it off real quick then we're going to talk about all three of the masks a little bit so i'm gonna rinse off my face be right back now done with the brightening vegetable no not this one the purifying fruit pill so i'm done with that it feels my skin feels pretty good 
I will say removing it was a little more difficult than removing the rest of them because it dried. Like, it was like a syrup when I first put it on. It dried to be, like, even harder than that. Almost like it should have been a peel-off mask, but the instructions say to rinse it off. So, I don't know what it was. Uh, I don't know. The texture was, like I said, it was hard to scrub off. I had to use a, a wet, uh, like, washcloth to kind of scrub it off a little bit because it was still pretty stuck on there. But um, my skin feels super soft, just like with the other two Acura masks. Um, so, I like the... Um, purifying fruit peel again i would only use it if i was having like a really bad skin moment like if i had a couple situations where i was wearing a lot of makeup every day and i had to um really like kind of refresh my skin and take a day off that's what i would do with this one I, I don't think i use it every week like they suggest using it once once or twice a week unless you're somebody that wears makeup and like kicks it on every day i don't know that i would suggest that because it's just a really strong my face kind of um kind of sort of um uh, now a little bit but it's super duper soft. I feel like it's a little, like my skin tone isn't as dull as it was before I used it. And I think that's because, like I said, it took off all the little dull, boring dead cells. So so that's my review of the Purifying Fruit Peel. Now I want to talk about all three of them together because this is our last, this is our last part of our Acure Spa Night together, y'all. So, so anyway, we got the three Acure products. They all retail for around 20 bucks. So I'd say somewhere between $18 and $22. The average I found, I average it out to about 20. These are not like really around that much. You have to kind of search for them. Like Acura has them, but they've been renamed and repackaged and all of that. So um, we have the Purifying Fruit Pill, which I just did. We have the Magical Wonder Fluff, which I did like a week ago. And then I have the Brightening Vegetable Pill. So this is all three of them. Again, I got them all for $5. They retail for about 20 Um, I really like all three of these. They're all good. I love the smell. I'm really, really big into smell. So I love the scent of all of them. They all smell super fresh. They all smell really healthy. They're all vegan. They're all uh, cruelty-free, paraben-free, all that stuff. So really good for the skin. It all involves natural um, natural skincare. So it's all a lot of, you know, natural uh, fruit oils, vegetable oils. Um, in this one, they have, um, in the Magic Fluff, it has argon, argon oil and gardenia stem cells. So, like, it's all really natural, beautiful things. So I really like all three of them. If I had to pick a favorite, um, I think if I had to pick a favorite, I'd probably pick the Wonder Fluff, the Magical Wonder Fluff, only because I like the idea that it's an overnight mask. It's super moisturizing, like it's really, really creamy. You put it on, you go to sleep with it, you wake up and your skin is like a little more plump and it's the one that gave me the most instant results that I could visibly see. So the Magical Wonder Fluff was my favorite, but I really love all three of these. And I mean, I got all three of these at TJ Maxx for like, all three of them together was less than $20. And it's a cure, you know, a, a cure is not, you know something to play with a cure been around they they get it in a cure will make your face beautiful so <laughs> so therefore i i mean i'm all for it when you have a spa night with your girls or if you just need some me time by yourself and you want to just kind of put your mask on and lay down and just think about life or the world or just don't think about anything just have a clear mind these three are really good for that and like i said they're super duper cheap i'm trying to get y'all the cheapest price to put it I'll put it in the coordinating blog that's going to be linked below. But um, again, TJ Maxx and Ross and those kind of my favorite types of places. Um, you can't really like bet on them being there because it might be there that weekend. It might not be there again. So when you see it, you just kind of have to grab it, which I did. Obviously, all three of them. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining me for my Akira Spa Night. Thank you so much for coming to the Diamonds and Denim YouTube page and website. Um, until next time, hit me in my DMs or my social media, which is the next slide always. Or you can just send me comments on the little comment section below if you want. Let me know if there's anything else y'all want to see, any questions, any comments, anything y'all need from me. I got you. Oh, and keep your eyes posted because I'm starting to build our holiday prize bag for our giveaway. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to go to sleep now that I'm nice and relaxed because of these Acure masks. And I will see you next time. Please subscribe to the channel. Bye.